Finally, a super automatic coffee maker, perfectly tuned for smaller batches because I don't need eight cups of coffee in the morning. This is the Ratio 4 coffee maker. It fits under any countertop because it's only 11 inches tall. Then you have this moving water tank. What I love so much about this is this, look. This is how you fill up the water tank. Oh. Here you go, boom, boom, fill it up the sink. But by far and away, my favorite thing about this coffee maker is that it does the same barista quality pour over brew method on every single cup. More on that in a second, but first, this episode is brought to you by Wild Man Foods. Listen, I'm a 42 year old man, hormones change. This helps me regulate my hormones without pharmaceuticals. The Wild Man Complex has a bunch of herbs like fenugreek, maca, tongat ali, things that are known to support your testosterone. The Bull Blend pill has a bunch of organs from happy cows so I don't have to eat raw cow liver, which I've done before. Hormones turn on things like your libido, your ability to face challenges with a little bit of gusto, your motivation and energy. You team that up with beef tallow, full spectrum magnesium and vitamins K and D, and you've got yourself full stack support, like a badass baseline. And Wild Foods took care of all the sourcing for me. So all I have to do is take a few pills in the morning and regulate my hormones without any pharmaceuticals. Use my link below, it supports the channel. Shout out to Wild Foods Co. Okay, dialing in excellent morning coffee with the ratio machine is very easy. And I get to use fresh local coffee instead of stale pods, which is important to me because I'm an artiste and I want my cup every morning to remind me of how special I am. It has one button. I provide the coffee grounds and water and it takes care of everything else just like my barista except with a whole lot less commentary on his band and like the local protest scene. Do you know about a bloom cycle? Your barista does. It's when you douse the coffee grounds at first and then you let them chill for a second, off gas, right? This does that perfectly tuned to two decent biggish cups of coffee or one massive Cut one massive cup of coffee. Where my single dad's at. If I'm gonna make liquid confidence, I want it to be bright and juicy. I need it to be delicious. By the way, if you go to their website, lots and lots of professional baristas, like like award-winning baristas, are making coffee with these coffee makers at home, because it does the same thing every time. You can dial in your beans, just the right amount of that, the right grind, particle size. Let's Let's get into it. Now, they make all sorts of claims about the temperature stability, the wide shower head for dousing all your grounds. I'm not in there watching this thing or measuring with the thermometer what's what. I'm measuring the flavor of the cup afterwards and I've been so just, I, I don't know if it's impressed, but just like, yes, thank you. And how repeatable, how repeatable, pop, 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 pop. Because I don't want to get up in the morning and dial something in. I don't want to get up in the morning and have to do screen time to get my coffee made. I don't want to make little fiddly adjustments and things like that. It's like, I just want it to work. They're like, you kid. Like, it's one button. <laughs> it's one button. In fact, it's one button that I push as I'm putting the filter in, just burp. One, one move. It's not even one button, it's one move. I cannot tell you how cool this is. Why? That if I move this over here, this doesn't get tangled. How does that happen? What kind of voodoo is this? And that I can just put this right here in the back on my countertop. This is how I like to do it. And I just reach back and grab this. Some usability stuff on this. Number one, this takes a little time to break in, okay? This, you have to use two hands actually to get that in, okay? Because this plastic is meant to keep it really solid there so you have less condensation. I just like that clunk but I gotta use this hand back here. Bonk. Number two, obviously moving the water to either side is like nothing I've ever seen. If you're planning on traveling with this, I, I wouldn't. This feels somewhat vulnerable for a travel setup. Number three, we don't have a thermal carafe that comes with this, okay? You could, you, you could just go straight into your mug, but this is so nice. It pours this perfectly thin little it's killer and it just looks and feels good. This has a silicon like little gusset on the lid that just feels so good. And then finally, everything on here is plastic, not metal, right? This is their affordable small batch. You know about the ratio eight? It looks like a, like a 1950s Mercedes on your countertop. It's amazing. They went through 
all of this insane is at the beginning of the company, all of this insane engineering to make it so zero plastic touched the water throughout its journey, right? Fucking like borosilicate glass tank in the back. So like that's one that you have to fill up and get the water into that. It was always a little bit of a pain, but you've got the best big, you know, eight cup coffee maker in the world. This is plastic. You're dealing you're dealing with plastic. You're dealing with hot plastic, right? It's all it's all like super high quality, right? But it's still it's plastic. How do you feel about that? Most people are fine with it. Obviously, every single coffee maker you're using out there is the same. I just am a little because of that their first coffee maker, I've always been like, yeah, why would I drink fucking hot water that's gone through a bunch of plastic? You know, now now I'm doing it because it's small batch. Okay, there's two brewing profiles, all right? Brewing profile A, you just push it once, 100 milliliter bloom, 30 second rest, pulse pouring with five milliliters a second until two minutes of brew, total brew time has elapsed, then continuous flow at five milliliters a second until all water has been dispensed. Brew profile two, you end up holding the button for two seconds, okay? Then you have only a 60 milliliter bloom, so a little less than 100. Everything's the same after that. So basically, if you're filling this all the way up, just push it once. If you're going halfway, push and hold. The only thing it changes is a little less quantity of bloom water. 60 milliliters versus 100 milliliters. Now, here is how simple it is to dial in coffee with this thing, right? However you want it to taste, your flavor that you want. You decide how much water you're gonna put in and just leave that constant. I go halfway. That's it, because I'm only making one cup. Then you have the weight of your beans. You need to measure it in grams because it's just so simple, okay? I used 25 grams recently on that much water and it was very strong. Typically in the 18 to 20 gram range. That's something that you can fiddle with. Leave this exactly how it is, wherever you're, the amount of coffee that you need to make. Then we're messing with how much beans we're using. Finally, what the fineness or coarseness of the grind is, okay? The bigger the particle size is, the more work the water has to do to extract from the coffee into the water, right? The smaller the particle size, the easier that thing just sits in water and could completely absorbed out and, and the more likely that it actually gets bitter quicker, right? We're in a balance between we want to get this expression out of the beans, but we don't want to get too much because beans, beans get bitter, bro. They, <laughs> they got a lot of resentment. Un unresolved trauma. You know, in the Lord's Prayer, it says, forgive us as we forgive others, coffee. So once you choose your water amount, you'll have two things to fiddle with, okay? The, the amount of beans and the particle size of the beans. It's so easy to just like fiddle with that. And the truth is, I've never made a cup of coffee with this that I didn't love. I have never. All the little fiddles and all the things and every ratio machine. I've never made a cup of coffee with it that I, that I just didn't love. I, maybe I'm easy to please, but I'm not. I lived in Portland for 15 years. I, my Half of my friends were like world barista competition people. I got to learn how to do all sorts of coffee stuff with people that I was never gonna be in coffee world. I just got I just turned into a geek about it, right? I liked it, why? Because it's liquid confidence. It like makes me optimistic, right? I'm a little bit uh, upset that it comes with a downside of depression. <laughs> For me, like of of a crash, right? But I but I like it. I like the I like the aromatics. I like the ritual. I love that this thing is just one fucking button. This workhorse of of put in your water, put in your beans, and like let me do the work. Mm. Okay, so that's my take on on this thing. Uh, like after a few weeks of using it, it's been great. I've used ratio machines for forever. I love them. They're great, love this company, love, in terms of like actual interactions, this is this is the thing you interact with and love. Super simple. I don't know why this feels fancy. Not much else feels fancy. The look is good. This feels like, thank you. This doesn't feel fancy because this is plastic, right? But it feels like, mm, like the kind of use where you're, you're like, how did I do this before? What was I? What was I even thinking? This moving this back and forth is ingenious. Being able to put this anywhere. Obviously, you're not gonna you're not gonna move it around regularly. You're gonna get this set up wherever you want it. And mine actually is behind here. 
okay? So when I'm in the kitchen, I can't even see the water tank. It's just right behind because this doesn't have a very big footprint at all. So for people who are not making a lot of coffee but make coffee, this thing's killer. Should we do a ramble? Okay. The Lord's Prayer. I mentioned it earlier. I have a note there. The Lord's Prayer. I've been, do I've been doing the Lord's Prayer every night as a series of yoga poses. I don't know. DM me about it or something. But um, there is some fascinating technology in this. I don't know where you land in any sort of spiritual perspective. I don't know where I land. But take this. Jesus was asked, how do we pray? And he's like, don't just use a bunch of words. Don't just like, uh, you know, think that you're impressing God when you're trying to like, just like vie for status down here. Don't use a bunch of words like these people or those people. Here's how you do it. Our father, I can't believe I'm doing this in a video right now. Will you just take it for a second? Our father, okay, ours. It's like, here's something true about God, it's ours. Not mine, not yours, ours. Whose art is in heaven. <laughs> Who makes the whole thing. How low, how low be, is your name? Like, even, the, even a baby knows it. H how easy is it to know your names? I'm so glad we can call upon you, right? Our Father, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, it's yours. Let your kingdom come. Thank you, God, I don't have to fucking plan. I don't have to think of it. Let your kingdom come, let your will be done. Good, thank you. Give us, uh, would you just give me what I need today? Would you just, can you do that for me? Can you just give me what I need? And forgive us. Forgive us our trespasses. Forgive, forgive me when I, when I do some stupid shit. Forgive me. Just like I forgive others. There's, there's a two part, two prong sort of approach here. This is Jesus being asked how to pray. He's like, do it like this. There's an interesting technology in here. Deli like lead us not into temptation. Don't lead me in the stuff I can't handle, man. Please, please keep me from my stupid, uh, my vices, my, don't leave me in te temptation. Deliver me from evil. If there's something that's, if there's ever anything that's like coming after me, will you just help me from that? Cause it's yours. It's your kingdom, your power, your glory. <laughs> that's like a, thank you. That's a performance of the Lord's prayer um, that I do every night in my head as I'm doing these different postures for each different phrase of the thing. Um, because it's good to stretch before bed, but I'm surprised how interesting this is after I used to be a Christian. Uh, maybe I still am. Again, I don't know where I am. But there's very interesting technology in these words and I encourage you to think about it. This is weird at the end of a coffee video, but that's what the, that's what the note was and that's what I've been thinking about. So, <laughs> Holler in the comments with any questions. Please use my link if you do get this. Um, and you know, be yourself. Everyone else is taken. Bye.